What's going on YouTube? Been a long time. I know, I know. It's been a long time since I've done a full length video and I'm not gonna sit here and act like there was any real excuse behind it. I just got, you know, distracted by other things, trying to work on other things. I was trying to put some shorts out, but I know that ain't enough. But it seems like that's the only thing YouTube, uh, like let the algorithm, but uh, algorithm, it, it'll let that play out a lot better than a full length uh, video. But I'm gonna start my full length videos back. I need to take this page a lot more serious. Those of you who stuck by me, I appreciate it. I know a lot of y'all probably just forgot y'all was subscribed to me. I'm like, oh, is this dude unsubscribed? But I, I, I encourage you not to. I don't blame you. you. You got every reason to unsubscribe because I've been super inconsistent. Ain't that right? Yes. You need all the attention still. No matter if the camera roll or not, you're not, you're not gonna let daddy work, is you? Hmm? No. Um, but I'm here with another video and you can see I got a lot of stuff. This is my 2023 EDC video. I've been waiting to do this. I'm ready. I think I got I got my stuff pretty honed in, especially from last year's video. So if you haven't seen that, I'm sure you're gonna see a lot of different stuff in here. You can kind of tell I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit more experience. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Woman, leave my hands alone. Um, and hit that bell notification. Just just do it out of spite. Cause at this point, they, they trying to, like the whole nation is trying to have a beef with the two way community, man. I just got in here. Just got here and they trying to get rid of it. No, I'm not going for it. Uh, but yeah, hit that, share this, share this as much as you possibly can, just out of spite and just leave like 10 comments by yourself. You can just go one, two, three, four, five, all that so the algorithm can, you know, share this video. And hopefully we can inspire more people to carry EDC or get more interested in guns. You know, we need more good people with guns than there are bad people. And they, they trying to, take our guns away, so, you know, ask Mexico how that worked. You know what I mean? Like the criminals, they're not gonna follow the rules, so I'd rather be armed. Anyway, she done got, uh, it's probably gonna be a ton of dog fur all over me. But, um, everything's already going off. You can just tell I'm just rusty at this point. Uh, anyway, let's get this EDC, 2023 EDC video going. Um, you know what? I'm gonna start it off like this. I'm gonna go ahead and get these out the way. Uh, first things first, usually I always got one of a hat. I, I, I usually got a hat on or I keep a hat with me just in case, you know, cause sometimes, man, the main reason be like, uh, it's getting close for me to need a haircut. Sometimes I just throw this on or I just go for a long walk. I don't want sun all in my face, you know, it never hurts to have a hat. And this is kind of like a, a rough draft of my brand that I'm working on. So uh, hopefully I have some more of those. And if y'all are interested in them, I kind of just started making it really just for me to wear. But you know, if other people was interested, this also, this hoodie, it was supposed to be stitched, but they printed it. I don't like that, but it's a rough draft. So anywho, I usually wear a hat and I usually, because especially my work pants are usually pretty much kind of like the same, like cargo type pants with the extra pockets and all that type of stuff. So that's kind of how I carry my EDC. I always got like the, the little cargo type, but I like my stuff to fit. I don't like the extra, extra, extra baggy stuff, but even though it is comfortable, but it's kind of like just regular pants like that. You can find them at Walmart now. Um, I usually got like 511, all that type of stuff. But you can find like Wranglers that kind of pretty much do the same thing at Walmart. So you ain't got to spend all that extra money if you don't need to. Um, my next EDC is a good concealed carry belt. And this is my core essentials belt. I'm not gonna be able to go back after this. Like this is my first belt that has like the ratcheting system in it, where I ain't got to like, you know, fit it in a hole. It has a ratcheting system so you can get it just like, these dogs are down here doing the absolute most. But anyway, um, 
yeah, you can get it just right. And I, I was not used to that, but I really do enjoy it now. All you pretty much do is like, you got this little, little thing over here on the side, you can push it and you can, you know, pull your stuff out easy. Or if you want to see that ratcheting system, that's pretty cool. And just get it just right, just right. That's how you need it, you know. So, but I'm definitely gonna get a, um, a leather version, like a more like dress code type thing. If I want to wear a suit or dress up a little bit, I'll probably get a leather one. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm gonna do. If y'all want to see, I'm gonna do a, um, a full review over this bag. Just a big toast bag i think i hopefully i'm saying it right it's a sling bag and uh this is usually what i carry all my edc stuff with inside if i don't have it on me uh in my pockets or whatnot so i usually just carry it in this i'm not gonna go into detail about this bag because i want to actually do a full review but if let me know if you actually y'all actually want to see a full review on this bag um there's a lot of things i like about it i can fit a lot of stuff in this little bag which is which is super dope that's super convenient for me right, i'm gonna leave that here all right another thing i carry usually if it's not on me uh if i'm not having my gun on me uh this big toast bag came with it like a little velcro holster i can just put my little my little gun in and i usually put like my holster in my my spare mag uh holster like i just slide that in here also in the side but if i am wearing my my gun i usually just throw it in this little slimline holster definitely gonna get a a kydex holster with a light because i'm definitely gonna put a light on my edc but this is just the one i've had for a long time i had this with my hellcat uh with my glock 43x and now with my sig this is what i carry I, it, it fits in all the little micro compacts so that's super convenient pretty thin too so that's dope um next thing of course always want to have something for your lips so you're not dusty by the mouth because that's just that's a bit ridiculous like we, we grown you don't need to be looking dehydrated and, and talking to people because if your mouth look dry uh, hey y'all sit down man Go sit down. God, dog, these dog, you can't even do your video. They just running around all over the place. But that's probably my fault. I need to take them on a run. Um, but yeah, Carmex or any lip chap or anything, because you don't want to be looking dehydrated by the mouth. Because in my brain, like I said in the last video, if your mouth is dry and all that, your breath automatically stinks to me. Like I don't need you in my face. I'm just, I'm just being honest. Are you, are y'all good, man? Can y'all leave me alone so I can do my video? Huh? That's, that's the opposite of what I need y'all to do. What do you want? I, I got a lot of stuff I gotta get through. Can y'all leave me alone? Yeah. Sit down. Anyway, um. I carry this little bag, if, and even if I don't feel like carrying all this extra stuff, I carry this little, uh, what is this, a gentle stash bag? I, I'm probably be saying it wrong, but this little bag here is super, oh, dang it. Ooh. Bruno, go sit down, dude. Jesus Christ. All right. This uh, little bag right here, You know, I just keep like, keep a little lighter, like nail clippers, uh, some more Carmex, a little scissors and like a little pocket knife. Uh, this is like a little, this is my red dot tool for my Hollison. This is my uh, like sights for my Glocks. It, it fits your, uh, your, your night sights and all that type of stuff. You need to tighten them up a little bit. Like I just keep little stuff like that in here. A lighter and all that type of jazz but usually this will be in my little bag so um also keep a comb for my beard when it gets when it getting out of pocket like that 
Yeah, that's, that's for daddy. Um, so I keep that, you know, just to comb it out a little bit every now and then. Um, I always got to keep some headphones. These are my Beats by Dre headphones. I always got to keep those. Uh, yeah, I always got to keep those ready to rock and roll because I've been running here lately. I actually ran my first 5K um, not too long ago, like a month or so ago. And I'm really proud of that. I'm, I'm, I can't wait for the next one. We actually got to... I've been, I've been slacking, I ain't gonna lie. So I gotta get back on it. Get back out there, get running before I lose it. Cause Lord knows, takes you forever to get that stamina, but it don't take that long to lose it. All right, keep it moving. Okay, this is my Trabex, um, my, I think, what is it? Armor Summit wallet. I've been had this for like a year or so now. I'm, I'm used to it, man. This thing still looks like it's in the same condition that like when I bought it, that's why I like it. It's just metal and then like this little, uh, I don't know, I forgot what these called. It, it's, it's rugged though, it's, it's just a regular wallet. So, and it's super, it's super small. You can just put this in your front pocket, good to go. That's what I like about it, it's, it's real small. Um, let's go with, with this right here. I do carry pepper spray. Um, I like to carry uh, stuff like this because the gun is the last thing I want to have to use. Like there's, can you stop? Like there's different uh, things for, you know, not everything is, you know, you need a gun for it. You don't need a gun for everything. Like if I can pepper spray you and go on about my business, I'll do that. But um, of course you just want to try to be aware of your surroundings, but life can take you on, on regular uh, random turns all the time and you you just got to deal with it so i always carry pepper spray i ain't got no shame in my game i'll pepper spray the shit out you we'll get it this is my pocket knife this is the kershaw blur uh i've had this knife for a couple years now still sharp still in good condition mainly for boxes and all that type of stuff like but of course you can always use a folding knife for self-defense too but me i'm just not as comfortable with having something that can potentially fold on my hand i don't need it what what is your what is your deal can you stop hmm. you just always gotta find something to get into She's a uh, Chihuahua Jack Terrier mix, just, she on 20. As Soon as you open her a kennel, she going. Uh, but yeah, this is a good knife. I definitely recommend it. it, it it's, it's the, these dogs, like I'm trying to, I can't even focus. She's just going ham on my thumb. Okay, let me see. This is one of the things I use the most, which is a light which is a, um, this is my, what, what is this? It's a stream light, um, yeah, micro stream light. And honestly, this thing gets bright. And, and then I like the fact that it has this double clip on it where you can put this like on your, on your cap. Like if you wanna go hands-free. Can you stop licking my hand? Yeah. You ever wanna go hands-free if you're working on something, you just throw it on there like that. Boom, boom, boom. I'm not gonna shine a light. I hate when people do that. Just blind the hell out of you. We know what a light does. You know what I'm saying? But, and it's USB charged, so that's pretty cool. Let's keep going down the line. This is my K-Bar. Um, Honestly, I forgot what uh, what model this is, but this is my K-Bar. This is the knife that I carry for self-defense. I had a question also. What do you think is the best side to carry it on? Do you carry it on your weak hand side, just in case you can't get to your gun? You can use your knife, you carry it behind you. Like, I'm still trying to figure it out, like, exactly where I want to 
carry it and which one is where it's more comfortable but it's a nice blade it's it's definitely sturdy i definitely recommend it i like the fact that you can feel like you can just keep it in your hand you can just be punching but really you're doing a lot of a lot of plus 10 damage like and that's for real um i carry a spare magazine um, and that's why i usually keep it in in this if i actually do carry it on me but i i rarely do it's not like i, I carry this magazine all the time and this is a 17 round magazine um for my sig uh macro um that's what i carry on a can you can you stop man let's sit here and be cute you, you, uh, that's that terrier just always into something yeah but i carry uh my 17 round magazine which is crazy quit licking me jesus get, get, get down get down go sit there go 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 sit down Damn. All right. I also carry um, uh, my Leatherman um, skeleton uh, with a skeletal. Um, yeah, this thing is super convenient, man. I, I like how small it is. I like it, it's not that heavy. It has a little clip on here. Of course, it has a um, like a uh, what's it pliers. It got your pliers, it got your uh, your little screwdriver at the end. It's just, it's super convenient. If I don't feel like carrying either one of these blades or anything like that, it has a little knife on it. Like, so really, you if you're gonna carry one thing, it, it should be this, like realistically. And it, it, it's super convenient, but I mean, y'all know what a multi-tool does and I definitely can recommend a uh, Leatherman Skeletool. Not that heavy. I like it. I usually also carry a pen. I usually have a pen with me, but realistically, usually I'm not carrying this extra tactical pen. I, I bought this when I first got into like the whole EDC thing. I thought that was just like, oh yeah, that'd be glass breaker. But realistically, I have a regular ink pen on a regular basis. like that's this is what i use for work like a regular pen of course it, it never hurts to have a sharpie just in case you need it but i usually don't carry it but usually is this this regular pen not the extra tactical but i usually have this in this bag though just in case it doesn't hurt it doesn't hurt to have it um and i also have this tourniquet you know, if you're going to carry a weapon and whatnot, you know, it's also be pretty smart to have a tourniquet or also a, um, a med kit, period. I usually have like a med kit in my bigger bag and I'll put my smaller bag inside the bigger bag just in case I need to go out to the store. Then I'll pull out this, just bags inside of bags inside of bags. That's, that's just how I rock. Um, but, you know, it, it definitely is a good thing to really learn how to use these. Um, I'm not an expert, but I'm definitely, I definitely try to practice, but yeah, tourniquet. Uh, got the keys. Like I got my key set up. This is uh, more for organization. I got this little key thing here. I got the little Apple tag on here. I got this little leather thing I picked up. I got the same thing on my, on my bag so I can just rip it open. Um, I use the light. A ton. I got this little little old light on here. I got um, this little multi tool my old lady got for me. I find myself using that a lot. Uh, but yeah, it's keys, 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 keys. I, I try to minimize them as much as possible. But it is what it is. And when it comes to watches, I usually always have a watch. This is my pretty much my current favorite. Definitely one of the ones that I'm I'm always wearing because I like I said I've been running and this is my Vivo Active, uh, my Garmin Vivo Active, which is 
I've come to really enjoy this watch. I love it. But if I don't have this Vivo Active on, more than likely I have Dixie, get from under there. She she going all up under the couch. She just all it's just moving. Uh, this is my Garmin Instinct. Uh, this is what I'm, I I have on. I have this watch on a ton, like a ton. Like it's durable. This is actually this is my favorite watch because I don't have to baby this watch. Like this watch is pretty much like a smart G Shock. Like it, it's durable. It's all get out. If I hit it, I'm, I'm not really worried about it. And it, it does a great job. It does what I need to do. And the battery life is what I really like about it. And the last watch, which is one, the one I, I wear the least, is my my um, my Apple Watch. Um, I just find myself not really having it on. Like, first of all, I don't I don't know what gen this is. Oh, this is this is a Series Three, so this this is kind of old now but like it, it does the same stuff so um uh, but i have to charge this every day you know but that's what but it 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 just it just sits there really i don't really wear it as much like I, like once garmin came into the picture i kind of fell off of it okay then let's get to the the fun stuff my current well this used to be my my everyday carry. It's, it's been replaced for sure. This is my my Glock, my Gen 3 Glock 19. Um, still my baby. It, it's my trusty dusty. It's, it goes bang every time. Like this is my very first Glock. And this is also the one I was like, I'm gonna have a little fun with, but it's, it's definitely been replaced. It, it's, my nightstand gun now like this is what i have on my nightstand i still trust this gun with my life i definitely appreciate it this is my uh llod last line of defense holster uh with the extra magazine in there but this is like again i bought this when i first got into guns i didn't know there, there there's i'm sure there's better holsters than this that's like i wish this was flexible but i didn't know about that type of stuff when i bought this i was just watching youtube videos and was, i was watching his i was like oh yeah that's that's pretty convenient but and i i haven't got another holster though it's done what it needs to do so i just keep rocking it um but the what replaced that gun was my sig uh p365x macro um, I know this one looks different because I, I call this one the, the macro short because I got the original P365 uh, grip module on it and I have a 10 round magazine so it's 10 plus one in this configuration. I did that for summer carry. Like that's one of the reasons why I went to, to uh, SIG is because I can change the grip module and make turn this thing to three, four, five 